Ah, we are back into the same box. What's up, y'all? Live from Okinawa, back with another unboxing. It's already unboxed, but Chrome Konama sent me a bunch of stuff at the same time that is unreleased. So we're doing them in separate videos. We're gonna do them in separate videos. Let's go for this one next. Let's go for, let's go for this one next. Oh. Are you? Yeah. Okay, so as we know, Yasu's a crazy person. One in life. <laughs> Yasu won Catch and Flow just like in the most disgusting way ever. Has like a little bit of dance in there, has just all of the tech hard juggle Ken Flip stuff ever. And I know a lot of people are like, eh, it's repetitive, blah, blah, blah. No, stop that. It's hard to do. It's hard to do and he's doing it so fluently, so much flow, so much style. And this is his champ mod? Excuse me? Dude, I just remember talking to Dave Mateo, uh, rest in peace, Dave. He would talk about this kid, Yasu, and I'm like, yeah. You know, I'm so upset that Dave can't see where this kid is at today because he was one of like the biggest advocates for Yasu. The fact that this kid is one of the biggest Kanama freestylers like ever all time. Dave would have been so happy. I know he would have been so happy. So yeah, but gosh, this is hot. I can't wait to see what it looks like. I don't know what it looks like. All right, let's get into the details. So check that out. Yasu art, whatever. I don't even know what to call that but it's sparkly, it's cool, and this is one of the coolest Chrome Kendama packages ever. Just like the Chrome Noya box, this is kind of breaking down what's on the back of it. It's giving you the paint, which is the Lush paint or the matte paint. We got Beach Tom, a Maple Ken, and the Yasu shape, so I'm super excited. Let's get into it right now. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Bruh. What? What? <laughs> All right, sticker, sticker, sticker. So do this fast. This is a really cool Yasu sticker. Check out the Yasu sticker. This is a Chrome Kendama sticker, and it has the Yasu colorway on the Chrome Kendama. This is actually really cool. Yasu sticker. That is so hot. We got another Chrome Kendama sticker. I have so many of these. We got another Chrome sticker. More mini Chrome slaps. More mini Chrome slaps. White string. I don't know. Uh, wow. This only comes with white string. Yo, shout out to Yasu for keeping a classic with the white string only, but white string. Wow. Boom. And then we got the beautiful freaking Kendama. Oh my God. Look at that. What the heck? Oh my goodness. What the, what the, what the, what? Oh man. It smells like paint because the whole thing is painted. Let's just unbox this thing and just get it fully out of there again with the show off packaging. So if I wanted to, I could leave it in there, but this thing is going to get seshed. This is a thing of champions and this thing is so hot. All right, so first off, you can see it's completely painted. Check out that black can right there. The white stripes and stuff. We got the white smiley faces right there. We got the white Chrome logo right there. And then we got the Yasu Chrome logo right there because he's a G and he wins freestyle like a maniac. Chrome's done painted cans in the past. Those were kind of translucent and kind of glossy. This is like super matte. So the in-hand feeling is a little bit closer to like the bare wood feeling. It's not exactly that, but it's there. This is probably one of the coolest Tama designs I've ever seen. So that kind of city Escape type B thing that we saw on the stickers is literally just all over that Tama. So it's just a city warped like crazy. And when you spin it, oh my God, so hot. And then at the top is, you know, this cartoony comic book version of freaking Yasu. Like what dude, what the heck? <laughs> and then the body is just white. I like that it's just white. Too many dark 30 splits on Tamas nowadays, but dude, check out just the clean white. And then the stripe, check out the stripe. The stripe is so hot. It says Chrome and it says Yasu Chamon. And whoever designed it, shout out to the person who designed it. It's just such a beautiful Kendama. Yasu, you're a monster and you made a monster beautifully designed Kendama. That's just so pretty. They're basically the same as the two good cups, right? So that, boom, even the angles on the bird stalls are the same, but it does have the off center hole, just like the Soma mod. So shapes just like too good hole like the Soma. In terms of the base cup area, again, pretty much looks the same. It kind of just seems like the only two modifications to the shape they made to make it the Yasu shape is just the off center hole. And that guy be like pulling the turns up so crazy. Like it only makes sense that he likes an off center hole. And then he doesn't have a base cup hole. I don't know how that's going to affect Lunars, especially with this shape, but uh, we'll see about that. It might just not be the best Lunar Kanama, which is interesting because he throws some Lunars in his lines, but I mean, maybe the, the too good just doesn't need it. It's definitely a lot heavier and it's definitely gonna can flip faster. So maybe that's why Yasu went for that. All I do know is that this is gonna freaking that is super hot. I am so excited to see this thing in the air like when playing this. Oh my God, it's gonna be so cool. I do have some worries about not being able to see the spike. I think a cool move would have been to not paint the spike. I don't know what the limitations are for Hanrui to be able to like do that kind of stuff. But yeah, seeing that spike in the air is definitely gonna be a little bit tough. But I could be wrong too. I might be able to play it and be chilling. Yeah, I definitely worry. There's enough contracts between the 30 part right here and the black spike. So 
Maybe it won't be that big of a deal, but it'll be cool. I can't get over this design, dude. Chrome just like dropped some bombs. Like they are actually killing it with the Kendama designs. This is top tier design right here. Like this is hot. Even if the playability in terms of just like being a good Kendama, like in general, broadly is not there. I don't care because this is a piece of art and I kind of like how it's like almost like a trophy, right? Like you're almost not supposed to play it, but you could if you wanted to. Like this is very much my name is Yasu and I beat everyone. That's the vibe with this Kanama. Deal with it. No, but honestly, I'm going to play the crap out of this thing. This thing is so sick, especially with just the new matte paint. The paints from China are so good now. You know, it's like whatever. Just do whatever you want. You know what I mean? You can ice it. You can play it because it's going to be playable. All that stuff. It's great. I am so in love with the design of this Kendama. <laughs> Congrats Yasu for getting this champ mod. So sick. Thank you again, Rasmus, for sending this out to me because I really appreciate it. Again, you're one of the people that makes this channel keep going and that means so much to me. Let me know down below if you're gonna cop this. That's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and hit post notifications. It's gonna be one of the first to watch these videos when they come out. And obviously, sharing the video goes a long way for the channel. This is Elijah Melko Kendama and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.